And Dara Shoemaker served less than two years on the city council and did not attend a single meeting during her final six months. Despite her short time, she's still having an impact on the city council. Good evening, I'm Janae Town. I'm Elias Johnson. Thanks for joining us at 10. Des Moines voters will head to the polls November 7th to fill the seat left by Shoemaker's resignation. The new member could also have some new rules to follow. WHO 13's Andy Fails joins us now. And Andy, you say the council's considering an attendance policy. Uh, they're going to have one. First reading approved unanimously tonight. This council could do almost nothing about the fact that Indira Shoemaker stopped showing up for all meetings in March, yet still collected all her paychecks. Now, there still won't be a way to remove a derelict council member from office, but there will soon be a way to dock their pay if they simply don't show up for meetings and don't tell anyone why, like Shoemaker did nearly 20 times in less than two years. Those who skip meetings will be warned, and after that, they could see their pay docked. Amounts are to be determined. Council members I spoke with said they don't like they don't see something like this ever happening again, but then they hadn't seen it before in Deera Shoemaker. But I think this attendance policy is a step to say, if you're going to be elected to this office of city council, you need to show up. We were trying to look for a way to at least have a solution if something like that was to ever happen again. And everyone needs to do their homework when it's time to elect someone and make sure that we're putting the right people in office that are not only able to come knock on your door and say they're going to do it, but have the ability to actually do the job. So council members will still be allowed to miss meetings for business reasons, illnesses and personal matters, but they will always be expected to tell the rest of the council what's going on. And that was one of the biggest issues with Indira Shoemaker. She never told anyone what was going on, never sent word through friends or family members. And to this day, the council still isn't sure what happened to her. Okay, they want their council members to show up, and this policy should do that. Thanks, Andy.